This morning, the CDC issuing new mask guidance urging Americans to use higher quality face coverings such as N95 or KN95s instead of the more common cloth masks. The pivot comes as Omicron infections continue to soar nationwide, pushing hospitals to the brink. We're running out of beds. We don't have enough intensive care unit beds. The average daily hospitalizations up 78 percent in the last two weeks. At the current rate, January alone could register over 19 million cases. That's more than half the total infections recorded in 2021. Pediatric hospitalizations are also up by 118 percent in the last two weeks, averaging more than 4,600 children in hospital beds per day. In Missouri, this school district reporting more than 260 cases among students and staff. A grandkid, she's had her shots and I'm concerned and for the other kids as well. The CDC is now reporting only one in four of the roughly 29 million children ages 5 to 11 have received their first shot. Yet amid the surge, some good news out of the Northeast. Daily infections appear to have peaked in large cities like Washington, D.C., New York, and Chicago. We're seeing emergency department diagnoses just starting to come down uh, and maybe some flattening in the hospital numbers. Health officials hoping the trend will continue nationwide. What can this possibly mean for infections and hospitalizations? Hopefully it means that the, the peak of our case rise has ended in, in at least the areas that initially had the spike of Omicron. And usually we can expect the other parts of the country to follow suit. Now, if we hit the peak and see the cases start to decline, it may be easier to keep schools open. Uh, but until then, some students in cities like Oakland, Chicago and Boston are walking out of schools demanding more safety measures or return to remote learning until Omicron subsides. Peter, Kristen. Juan Venegas, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.